Let's play Mega Man X3 now. I forgot to read the actual storyline here, so we'll uh, skip that part, shall we? Essentially, it's a Mega Man game. The robots have gone bad, or have turned bad, or been turned bad. Yeah. Uh, the one good thing I like about this is Zero is actually a somewhat important character here. Uh, he's actually a big part of the story, uh, as opposed to just being kind of a side character. So that's always nice. Uh, we're into an intro stage here. Uh, again, fairly basic as far as intro stages go. I'm just gonna kind of rush through everything because I don't need to destroy all the enemies. I'm not trying to replenish sub tanks or anything like that. Now this guy's name is Mac. I don't honestly remember where he's from or anything. I should really read the stories here. I keep forgetting to read those. I keep meaning to. Oh my god, he's stealing X. And he teleports away. Enter. Zero. Yes, you can actually play a zero in this game. Uh, he has a supercharged power-up shot. You can actually do two giant shots and then a beam sword. Uh, from, for the beginning of the game, he's easily way overpowered as opposed to X. Uh, he does move a little bit slower, I find. Uh, he's you know, a little bit sluggish, but he's a bigger character too. So. And just cycle back and forth to dodge those. And we get two mini boss. I don't know if you can actually beat this guy with, uh, with bullets or not. But one beam sword is all that it takes to uh, to take him down. And free X. Are you okay, X? Thanks, Zero. I'm okay. I'll check around headquarters again. Be on your guard, X. I mean, the dialogue's pretty basic here. And we're back to playing as Mega Man now. Uh, again, fairly short intro stage. I thought there were more, uh, more spike things coming. And then we're at another boss. Again, as far as intro stages go, it's very difficult to die in these parts. Uh, it's more just teaching you the controls and stuff. This guy looks intimidating, but he's fairly easy. I mean, his attacks only do uh, one tick of damage. So all you have to do is shoot him in the face. Not have to get too fucked up. You see, I'm getting hit left, right, and center, and I'm still kicking his ass, so he barely did anything to me. Again, they, they make it fairly simple to, uh, to beat, so... Oh, I have to stop playing these games at 5 in the morning. Second time he goes uh, to check on headquarters, and we teleport away. We get a password saying we beat the intro stage, and hit the select our Mavericks now. I'm gonna go on to Toxic Seahorse right off the bat. One thing I did like, you can skip the goddamn uh, Maverick loading screens, which I usually end up doing, uh, just because I find them incredibly boring to sit through. Again, that's just me. I'm out a little bit badly. Oh, should have grabbed that health. Whatever. Uh, this sludge stuff here doesn't actually uh, slow you down or anything like Toad Man stage in Mega Man 4. But uh, when it's moving, like this stuff here, it will push you back, which you know can somewhat screw up your moves. 
if you let it. But... <laughs> Pump that up. Anyway. And over here is some health if you need it. Oops. It's actually been a long time since I've played this game, so uh, you'll see me screw up a fair bit. Uh, again, collect heart tanks, collect sub tanks. None of that stuff has changed, but there are a few other things you can grab now. We're going to walk into a big empty room. Uh, similar to X2, there will be, after you beat a couple Mavericks, some guys will uh, show up in these rooms here. Uh, I think you have to fight them. That's one of the other things you can collect later in the game. You'll see. Oh, how you'll see. I can't go up yet, because I don't have the, uh, the upgrade thing that I need. We'll keep going and battle a, uh, a mini-boss. This is possibly the easiest mini-boss they have. So, uh, he looks somewhat intimidating, but his tentacles don't hurt you. All you have to do is dodge his main body and dodge his attacks. And dash under him, otherwise when you stand up, he will uh, he'll hit his body and he will hurt you. His mines don't track you, they just fall in a preset pattern. Again, fairly easy to beat. Say anyway. uh, I actually don't really enjoy coming back to this game that much. Uh, I liked the X, X games for uh, for how much you can actually do and the versatility and stuff, but beyond that, they're not. A lot of these I don't find I come back to all that often. I think part of that could be because I don't own a Super Nintendo. I never have, or never did when I was a kid. I do own one, but I don't have any of these games. And quite honestly, emulating them just isn't just isn't the same. Even playing with a uh, with an honest god controller. So. That's just my opinion. Don't just fall down that hole there. There are spikes. I did come through and kind of test this level out earlier before I realized, hey, I fucked up that recording. And we're on to Toxic Seahorse. Uh, there's really no one Maverick's easier than the other, or the absolute easiest to beat for a starting point in this game. Uh, there are some that are by far harder than others. I still have a bit of trouble beating some of these guys. So. Ah. Shit. The big thing is don't get pinned between the seahorse there. And his uh, his acid bubbles that float up. You can't destroy his acid bubbles. Oh, well, maybe you can. You just gotta shoot him enough. But when they uh, when they explode, they uh, the little pellets that fall down can actually hurt you. I usually find those are what end up killing me, as opposed to uh, the actual seahorse guy. I wish I had a sub tank. Okay. Shit! That was my own goddamn fault. I thought I could leap over him. Instead, I just leaped right into him. Arg. So again, some of this is just figuring out the easiest way to, uh, to dodge some of these attacks, so some of it. Uh, similar to in X2, um, when you get about halfway through a Maverick, uh, he'll uh, change his attack style a bit. So. Usually he either becomes harder to dodge, or he'll do more damage, or you can only hit him at certain points, stuff like that. So watch out for that. God damn it! I fucking hate you. So I can't get get jump.
Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I personally find Toxic Seahorse is the easiest one to beat uh, for the first round. Um, again, that's just me. Uh, there are a couple of them that you can beat fairly simply with the X-Buster, but for me personally, I find Toxic Seahorse the best one. So, and then shitty attempt at 3D graphics. And for some reason, they really like the wireframe crap in this. They did the same thing in X2, where a couple of the mini bosses and uh, the final form of Sigma was a wireframe thing. I don't really know why. I don't, I don't. So we're on to. Oh, I don't think I wanted to. Did I? Did I want to do this guy next? I don't remember. I might have fucked that up. Now here you gotta beat the head, that's the only part that will uh, actually take any damage. Now to get that you actually need to have two things. You have to have uh, one of the Maverick weapons, and you have to have the, uh, the charged up, or the X-Buster enhancement. Okay. So I will end up having to come back and do a lot of backtracking to get all of the uh, enhancements and stuff. Thankfully the sub-tank is really easy to get, which is one thing that I do like. Don't need that. And mini boss or empty room? Empty room. Let us continue then. And when you defeat those tank things, they shoot uh, the missiles at you. So just watch out for that. Even if you don't defeat them, they will still shoot the missiles. I don't need to. Oh, I probably should have. Watch out for fallen board boulders. Uh, again, I need the same thing to get through that one as I would for, uh, oops, for the heart tank. I don't like to fall down giant pits, because they're sometimes bottomless pits at the bottom. Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? And enter the tank. Oops. One thing that I don't like, that they, uh, in my opinion, they didn't do very well here. Ooh, that wasn't very bright, I mean, that was it. Is, uh, when you go on from, uh, Shit! Man. Well, I should have grabbed that pellet just for a little bit of sub tank. Come on. Shit. I'm not very good at dodging that right now. Oh, motherfucker. Whatever, I'll pick this up next video. Oh, actually. Try and get back to him first, save a bit of time. Okay. Maybe I'll go and do this time. Right. I'm not doing very well. I'm not, I'm not. You can't say I am because I'm not. fight on the next video. So let's have some fun with that, shall we?